All right, we're working on a Snap-on Big Red machine air compressor. All right, I've been without an air compressor for about four days now because the motor just hums when you turn it on. And, hey, quit it. Anyway, uh, these this is the run capacitor right here. And I tested that, and these are the start capacitors. In fact, I even went and got new ones. And the old ones test good, the new ones test good. It still just hums. So I took the end off the motor. I don't know if that matters, but there's there's a hornet's nest inside the stupid thing. It's kind of unexpected. That's not a hornet's nest. I don't know what those things are. Yellow jackets are freaking annoying. But, um, yeah, it tries to turn the compressor, but it just kind of hums and barely moves. And it acts like it's only got one leg of the, it's 220, and, you know, so it's two legs of 110. This one seems kind of decent. And this one, I don't know. So... That thing seems to move okay. So when it's out, when it's sprung out, it's pushing these so it's making contact on one side. So it's on the start windings. And then when it speeds up, the centrifugal clutches suck this, or these weights, the centrifugal force of the weights suck that in. And then instead of these being held down on the start windings, it lets them up and then they go to the run windings. So that's, that's the run capacitor. These are the start capacitors. So, trying to figure out what in the heck is going on with this thing. That are old enough to have dealt with points distributors. There's contacts in here uh, that are like points contacts. And it's on both sides of this. Uh, when that's pushed in, it's one, you can hear it. And so I'm gonna take this piece of 320 grit and I'm gonna clean these contacts on both sides, on top of this and under it. And let's see if that fixes our problem because it acts like it's just not getting full 220 to the motor. It acts like it's just got one leg, like I said, of the 110. And <clears throat> so I think what it's trying to do, each. Each side of this, this is 110, this is 110, and I think one side of these is not sending juice to the motor. So let's clean the contacts and see what happens. All right, this is kind of hairy. I put this cover back on with just two bolts and I hand tighten them so they're, so it's even and it's on all the way. And the, I had to take this off the box because I couldn't get behind here to get this nut so everything's kind of taken apart it's kind of hairy you got start capacitors hanging out everywhere but i just plugged it or not plugged it in turned the breaker on i just want to see if it's going to start before i put this thing completely back together so here goes nothing so that's what the problem was those two little contacts uh, they were so burned on the one side that they weren't working. So this thing works perfect. It's doing exactly what it should. What a relief.